Yo guys, welcome to my Great Balls of Fire pay per view predictions. And firstly, what a name for pay per view, right? I uh, never thought we'd see a pay per view called that. I wish Bad Blood was was this or something, but no. Um, I want to address a few things before this starts. So Austin Aries has just been released from WWE, which sucks. But obviously he's been booked badly. I'm really not keen on the Cruiserweight division apart from Neville. And um, yeah, uh, we've also got a new United States Champion, uh, AJ Styles, won at Madison Square, Madison Square Garden against Kevin Owens, which he just won the Battle Royal, so now that whole match was kind of pointless if he just won it. So, yeah, and also, why the hell is Finn Balor not on this match card? Like, Finn Balor's been booked so badly, he should be going for the the Universal title. I think he should be going for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam or Cesaro if they break up Cesaro and Sheamus. That would be awesome. Triple threat, because Ambrose is not really doing anything, you know. Um, yeah, How cool would it be if there was a Shield reunion at Great Balls of Fire? Like, Ambrose and Rollins come out to help Reigns defeat Strowman. That would be awesome. But I kind of want that to happen, because I want that I want Strowman to win cleanly. So let's just get into the predictions. So first we'll get into the predictions with the figures I don't have. So we've got Alexa Bliss defending the women's Raw Women's Championship against Sasha Banks. And... This is a hard one because I want to see Alexa versus Nia Jax at SummerSlam, but I also want to see Sasha Banks versus heel Bailey, which I think would be awesome. Like if Bailey came out and turned on Sasha, causing her to lose the match. So I think I'm gonna go with Alexa Bliss. I think it's probably a safer option because she is probably one of the most um, favorite like women's wrestlers at the moment. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Alexa Bliss retaining. Uh, the next match we have that I don't have figures of is hold on. This is the cruiserweight championship. We've got. Neville taking on Akira Tozawa, is it? Uh, yeah, I think I think I think that's the name of the guy. I don't really know his name. He's like that Asian guy. He's in the tightest brand. I think Neville's gonna retain. Neville is awesome. I'm looking to get that elite figure from Elite Forty Two, even though it's outdated. I really want that figure. I don't know. Um, cause I like that era of Neville, and I I love that he heal Neville at the moment. That's awesome, especially because he's from where I live, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go with Neville retaining. So I think there's gonna be a lot of retains on this. Match card. No, please don't fall. Anyway, right, let's go into the big match. So, we've got Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. Now, I don't. I think I want. I think Lesnar's gonna retain the title because of SummerSlam, and I hope they don't do just Reigns versus Lesnar. I hope they do like. I hope they stick with Lesnar versus Strowman. Like if Strowman beats Roman, then he should be able to go to SummerSlam. Or something like that. Or Rollins or Finn Balor. I don't know. Anyone but Reigns. You know, I like Roman Reigns. I don't know why everyone hates him so much. He's a great wrestler. I don't know. I think a lot of people just jump on the bandwagon because it's cool. Even though he's a fantastic wrestler and I don't really see any reasons to hate him. I just love how he gets to the audience so triggered all the time. That is so funny to watch. And yeah, I'm going to be watching this pay-per-view. So I'm going to go with um, some more Joe possibly putting in the clutch. And then I hope Lesnar just throws everything at Joe. And then just teaches him a lesson, sit down NXT kid, as he's nothing to the beast. So I'm going to go with Lesnar retaining the title. <laughs> Alright, next we'll go into the Intercontinental Championship, and this one's quite obvious. It's going to be the Miz that retains. He's, he's got the Miz, Taraj, Curse Axe and Bull Dallas, and Maurice on the side. The odds are just against Dean Ambrose, so the Miz is going to retain. Um, next we'll get into just an absolutely pointless match, Seth Rollins and Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, completely useless at the moment. Shouldn't have moved him from SmackDown, quite honestly. Um, away from Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. And Rollins needs to go for a belt. Either the IC title or the Universal title. So I'm going to go with Rollins in a in a um, a big win. Because Wyatt's just getting a bit weird. Next we're going into a match that I never never wish I would see. Ah, this is going to be sad. I love this tag team, you know. Even if I know Enzo's not great in the ring. Big Cass is alright, but Big Cass has been a good heel turn at the moment. And um, Enzo, you know, it's just, like, he's just not good in the ring. He's great on the mic. I wish he was just Big Cass's manager or something. That would be awesome. They just came to the side with Big Cass, while Big Cass went for, like, the IC title or the Universal title. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Big Cass destroying Enzo in this match, as he really needs a bunch. Oh, Big Show coming out, causing Enzo to win, but I'm going to go with Big Cass, because he needs the win. <laughs> Um, so I've got really bad hair fever again. Next we'll go into the tag team championships. So we've got We've got Seamus and Cesaro defending the Hardy against the Hardy Boys in a thirty minute Iron Man match. 
No, I don't know how I feel about this. The Hardys, you know, they're kind of old. They're not obviously going to be able to put up with that time. Sheamus and Cesaro are a lot fitter and bigger than the Hardys. And maybe there will be a broken gimmick. Like, maybe once he reaches the limit, my Hardy will become broken. And maybe Sheamus will turn on Cesaro. You don't even know. Because I wish Cesaro would go on, like, a singles run. Uh, Sheamus is kind of... He's had everything. He's had the United States Championship. He's had the IC... He's had the WWE Championship... Like several times, won the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank. Cesaro's done none of that really, apart from the United States Championship and this tag team title. But yeah, I'm gonna go with. It's hard choice because I love the Hardys. These are probably my favorite. These are my favorite team. Jeff Hardy's my favorite wrestler. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Hardys winning. I would love them to face the Revival at SummerSlam. That would be pretty sick. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with my boys, I'm going to stick with the Hardys. And finally, we have Roman Reigns against Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. And I don't have a Strowman figure, I'm going to wait for the Elite 52. I did post some, um, basic images, basic 75, which Strowman's in on Instagram, which got tons of likes, and I managed to hit 100 followers, so thank you guys. Go and follow me, uh, my name's in the description, if you want to go follow me. Do some cool pics on there, like a pic fed, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to go with Strowman beating Reigns. And maybe Strowman interferes in the Lesnar Samojo match. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with Strowman win as he needs it more, and maybe that will prove to the general manager of Rocker Angle that Strowman is a more of a worthy competitor. Because if Samojo can't beat Lesnar, it's either Reigns or Reigns will be made to, but Strowman is the man who could actually beat Lesnar. So yeah, thank you guys. Leave your predictions in the comment section below, and I'll see you all in my next video, which will I don't know what it'll be. Uh, but follow me on Instagram for updates and I'll see you in the next one.